Hey there, welcome back. I am Mark. I'm glad you're with me today because I will be drawing Kermit the Frog from the Muppets. So grab yourself a sheet of paper, pencil, pen, some markers, and let's have some fun. So for Kermit, we're gonna have him laying down and I'm just gonna draw a small circular shape for his main body here. So it's gonna be kind of like this egg shape. And then up over here, we're gonna have his head out over there and we're gonna have some legs out to the left so let's start off with his head over here so I will draw a V like shape so we'll kind of come like this and we'll create a V like a that's sideways slightly so the V if you drew a line like this his head's gonna be like that so we're gonna have like the V come here and this will widen. And then over here, we're gonna come up from here for the eye. So we're gonna round this and come down like that. So the top's gonna be rounded and the bottom's gonna be a little bit more on the pointier side right there. Then we will create a curve right here and right about here. And this is gonna be a, just a little bit above that line that we drew there. And then I'm gonna curve this like that. Slight curve for the top of the mouth. Then we're gonna come down and follow our V shape. And we're gonna hook this up into that side over there. Then we'll put a little tongue. So I'll come like that. We'll point this shape and we'll come over to the right like this. And we'll put a little line where that tongue is there. Now for his eyes, if this is the middle here, we're gonna go to the left and we're gonna draw this curve right like that. That's gonna be one eye. And then this is gonna kind of bulge up like that. So we'll have one eye there. And then we'll put a little circle in the middle. And then there's going to be like this little line that cuts through that circle. And then we'll do the same on this side. We'll create this curve right around here inside of the head. And then we're going to come up and back down like that and then over here we'll have a little circle for the eye and then this rectangular shape now let's do the little neck shape that he has so we're gonna draw these little pointy shapes that kind of come off of his neck like this kind of curve this one down and you can see these don't come and touch the face at all. They're just shy of the face. And we'll do one here and then we'll do another one right here like that. And then right from here, and don't worry about where we drew this circular shape here. We don't have to line up exactly with that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come from here and I'm going to curve this and we're going to round this like that right there. You can see I'm off quite a bit, but that's okay. Then right here, we'll have this shape kind of flattened like this. And this one's gonna come up over there. Just like that right in there. Okay. Now I'm gonna draw one of the arms and we're gonna go about halfway in this new shape that we have here. So I'm gonna come right about here. I'm gonna just draw this line at a slight curve. It's gonna extend past my body line. And then the back side of that arm is gonna curve like this and kind of have like a little bit of a bump for the elbow. All right, and then the arm's gonna go and come towards the right side of our page. So we're gonna come like this, 
and come up right about here. And then I'm just gonna stop. I'm gonna draw the other side here. We're gonna kind of come down. We're just gonna stop right here for a second. Now he's kind of leaning on his hand. His palm of his hand is, his head's in his palm of his hand. So we'll draw the wrist part here, the palm part, and we'll bend that and we'll come down like this. And if you drew a line for the belly like this, right across, this this will kind of meet up and line up right like that, okay? Then we'll draw the lower part of the arm that's coming right about here. And this will come down and then that elbow is gonna come up and then it's gonna come into the wrist like this. So we want the wrist to be narrower than this shape right here. And then if we imagine this rounding, this will come and just be right like that. And you can make your little tweaks just like this. And then let's go back up here to the hand and I'm going to round this over to the right and then we're going to have these fingers that come up. So we're going to come from here, we're going to touch the face, hook this up and this will be one finger and then this will like bend. So that'll be one finger, then we'll step up a little bit, we'll bend and then we'll come in like that. And then we'll just do the same. We'll do another one that's a little bit shorter and then a last one like this. You just see a little bit of that last one. Then right in here, we'll just create a soft little curved shape. You can probably put another one in there. All right, so we have his head resting in his hand. Now let's finish off this arm and this hand. Now this hand is gonna be curling over his his arm right here his bicep area so as we came down right here to his wrist his wrist is going to bend downward a little bit and then it's going to kind of come up and go like this now i think this might be a little bit long for his fingers because i want his fingers to kind of dip into his his hand right here. So I'm just gonna have to make a slight edit and I'm gonna come from these fingers here and I'll probably curve this right about there instead. So I'll erase that line there. So this will be the bottom of my palm right here. And this will come up. And then over here, this will come from his wrist. This will come up like this and then we'll dive this down like that. And we'll just put a few little fingers that are kind of showing through like that. So now that we have his wrist, we can redraw that line right there. Alrighty. Now we might want to thicken up this back arm a little bit if it's looking a little bit too thin. So you can go and tweak that. But if yours all looks good, let's go back to the leg sections. So we have this that we didn't completely continue that line. If you did, it's okay. But right about here, we're just gonna curve this line just a little bit. And then we're going to bend that where the knee is gonna be. And this is gonna kind of come up and if the top of our body is here, I'm just gonna draw a little horizontal line. So if the top of our body is there, we wanna kind of extend this line just a little bit above that shape right there. So we'll come up and then we'll draw the thickness of his leg right here. So we'll come up and we want the leg to be maybe a little bit thicker than the arms, just a little bit. Okay, and then right here, we can curve this up and we'll go to his ankle shape. And then we can hook this 
and this foot will be at a slight angle like that down kind of towards the left of our page so we'll hook this over and then this will kind of come down and we'll have these little toes like this now I'm gonna stop right here but if you want you can create a third one and kind of continue that up but what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw that other leg that's on the other side so I'm gonna come and follow this line here it's gonna draw another one right about there and then this line will curve like this and it's gonna if you kept that line going it's gonna go right about here okay and then you're gonna have this ankle thickness about the same over here and then we can follow this down at a similar angle and now I'm gonna draw that other heel so this shape here we're gonna draw this one curving like this and then this is going to come and you're going to hide those toes on the other side. So this is going to come down. We want this length to be about the same on the other foot, right? So if you come and then this will continue through like that. And then we'll just do a couple little toes like that. All right, so we have his two feet in place. I'm going to go and use my ink pen to outline the lines that I want. Now remember which lines are on top of the other lines and which lines are hidden. So follow me. All right, now let's get rid of all those unwanted lines with an eraser. Now, if yours didn't turn out like mine did, it is okay. Go down in the description, click the link, and download my free coloring page. And then you can have fun coloring this in just like I'm doing right now. Well, I hope you enjoyed my video on Kermit the Frog. Please like the video and subscribe to my channel. I do videos every weekday and I don't want you to miss any one of them. Until the next one, I'll see you then. Have a good one.